much smoke, buddy. Sniff it. Yeah, you see that? Trying to figure out whether I want to pickle these or not. So, boy. I'm trying to see what leaf that is. Okay, gotta remember to come by and clean all these leaves up. Should I? cut those and harvest those? Should I harvest those and just pickle them? I don't know. I'll think about it. time for these beans to come out. All right, look like this ginger is starting to come out, starting to poke its head out. Perfect. So is this ginger. So how many gingers I got? One, two, right here, number two, three, Four, which I didn't think was gonna come. I think I got this one over here is probably rotten and I don't know. I don't see any shoots. Oh, look at that. I spoke too soon. There's another shoot right there. Ooh. Hey buddy. All right, so I got one, two, three, four, five gingers. And so far, just one turmeric. If there's another one, it's gotta be over here somewhere. And all I see, well, the rhizome does have an eye so this is just a little slow to come up so we'll have patience lemongrass is coming along it's throwing out some more leaves okay and I need to treat get this out of here anytime you see oil leaves and your vine crops get them out of there and remember to come and pick all of these leaves up come on boy all right so we got a nice little harvest right here Three cucumbers. Wow. Look at this melon. She's climbing. She is definitely climbing. That's exactly what I want. This trellis is sturdy enough to support fruit. What kind of melon we got here? We have got ambrosia. Okay, do we see the skin right here? Let's see. What does it say? It's peach colored flesh. 
It's different from any melon I've tasted. It looks and tastes similar to a regular cantaloupe, but has a more fragrant aroma and distinct flavor. You'll love the luscious sweet flavor of ambrosia as much as I do. Okay. I'll take your word for it. All right, let's throw a couple of these in here for color. All right. <laughs> Some sun sugar tomatoes. Damn, some color contrast, right? Let's grab a few more. This one's not really, it's ripe enough. It's ripe enough. See all the cosmos. What is it called? Summer sunshine. All the cosmos are coming up. Yeah, I think we need to harvest some of these um, Serrano hot peppers too. I mean, granted, they could get a little bit bigger. We'll just harvest a few of them and see how they taste. These are roughly, I don't know, three, three and a half inches long. All right, we'll leave the rest. Let them get a little bigger before we harvest them. I'm so excited. We've got corn, guys. Of course, we've got squirrels and whatnot as well. It's very nice. All right. We're on our way with some corn. Here's my gara. My guara. It's going out of uh, flower. I'm going to have to Shear it back a little bit to get some fresh blooms. Okay, I know I have some corn all the way over here. Or did I just end right here? I probably ended right there. The beans haven't sprouted just yet. It's still kind of early. Let's get these eggs before it gets too dark. See some of these black cherries. Oh, fat. Goodness. All right, we'll just take two. Two black cherries for now. Hey, Mr. Bumblebee. Mr. Bumblebee. Very territorial. Yeah, I see. He's still eating. Let him eat. Let Mr. Bumblebee eat. Hey. Hey, girls. Oh. Hey, girl. She squats for me. Yes, she does. Yeah. All right, girl. Yeah. There you go. Hey, Missy. She squats too. Hey. Mm -hmm. Hey, Coco. You don't want to squat? You can squat too, Coco. Good girl. Good girl. Nobody else gonna squat for me. You gonna squat? Mm -hmm. You gonna squat? You gonna squat? Mm -hmm. Squat, squat. Come on, Queenie. There you go, girl. There you go. Everybody squats. 
course, they got them way back in here. Oh, I don't know why they like to put these eggs way in the corner. All four of them. There goes another egg right here on the ground. It's an Easter egg. Why y'all treat the Easter eggs like that? Mm. That's it, huh? Five eggs. All right. Five girls went to work today. Good girl. So here I have some leftover garlic scapes from my harvest this past spring. Now, at the end, at the tip, are these flower heads, which produce these little things called bulbils. So I have a host of bulbils that I'll go ahead and plant up this fall and keep you guys posted to see exactly how it develops. See you guys in the next one.